today is Sunday, October 18, and as you can see, it's a rainy day. We had the first snow of the year today, and we're gonna go backpacking. I got my buddy here, right. Mr. Thunder Kitty, and where we're going is up behind us. We've already been hiking for about a mile. Um, there's a mountain up in here, but we're in a cloud right now, so you can't see it. But we're gonna go up there, we're gonna do an overnight, and have a fun, relaxing trip. Hopefully not going to be too wet. So it is still raining, it's soaking wet, and right here we found this dead standing, and it's just hidden enough with these branches that it's kind of dry right in here. So this tinder will be great fuel to start the fire. We'll shave it off below, and uh, this in birch bark has flammable oils. So this would be perfect right here to start the fire with. So we'll take some. Perfect. You see how dry this all is? Perfect. across this footprint and I'd like to point something out. This is a, an awesome survival tip that could save your life one day. And again, I'm no survivalist, but do you see this footprint here? How wide and how deep it is? You might, to the untrained eye, you might not be able to see this, but to the trained eye, this could save your life. This footprint means that something with legs once walked here. All right, we've hiked to the destination. I'm gonna set up a tent right there. And then back in there, we're gonna have like a little shelter with a fire so we can get warm and make meals. And it is really wet right now. My gloves are soaked all the way through. My shirt is soaked all the way through. So it's gonna be a wet and cold one, definitely. Under here, there's a few pine cones. It's not much, it's not much at all, but even these few pine cones might be just enough to help me get a fire started. So I'm gonna find as much as I can and we'll use this. So it's wet, it's cold out here, we're both freezing, it's time to get a fire going. So today we're gonna be doing the one match fire. I have a little bit of packing paper right here and that's gonna be our tinder we're gonna use to get it going or at least to light some of this dry material that I found or some of the birch that I found earlier. So let's get it going. Smoke. She can still go out at this point if we're not careful. It has been raining all day. We're out backpacking miles into Idaho's wilderness. And this right here, this is the most satisfying moment <laughs> so far of the trip. <laughs> we got it going. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon, it's still very wet, still very foggy, we're in a cloud right now. But we have officially established camp, got everything set up, and got a fire going. So let me show you around. Right here is the tent, we're both going to be sleeping in there. And out there you would normally see a beautiful lake, but sadly it's very cloudy. So we're hoping at some point the clouds will clear up and we'll be able to see the amazing views around here. And as we walk over here, we set up a little tarp shelter, a little place where we can sit, be dry, and be warm because there is a campfire that we built. 
and all this fog well Halloween is right around the corner so I guess it's relevant he's cooking his socks oh yeah I guess we're just that hungry all right just kidding our socks are soaking wet and we're taking advantage of this nice hot fire to steam them off a little bit and, and uh, hopefully evaporate some of that water that was in them Grant's on fire. This is what happens when you don't have synthetic pants. All right, I've got a flat rock here for the kitchen counter, and right now, we're gonna make some dinner. So this time I'm trying another MRE by APAC, and it is the Southwestern style beans with rice and chicken. That sounds really good. <laughs> it does. So we're gonna open this up and see how it is. There's a bunch of cheese in it. So for those of you who haven't used MREs before, basically you put the main course in this bag, you put a little bit of water in it, and now a little chemical reaction in, is starting where it heats up the water and it boils it basically. And since the meal's in the bag with it, it'll make a really hot meal. It takes about 10 or 15 minutes. So while that's happening, I'm just gonna set this here and continue making my other courses. All right, next up on the menu is potato grape smoothie, which sounds interesting. <laughs> I've never heard of a smoothie called potato grape smoothie, but uh, I guess it's time to try it out. So let me open up the package here. <laughs> Interesting taste. Uh, I mean, I can't say it's not terrible, but it's just interesting. It's ex it tastes exactly how you think it tastes, just with with less potato and more grape. All right, as I eat by the fire here, there's one more course in the meal, which is the southwestern style beans with rice and chicken. Which actually, that sounds pretty good. So. Which, it looks all mashed up, but we'll see how it actually tastes. It's, it's like lukewarm, it's not hot. Mine's so hot I can't even eat it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this tastes great. Can you taste like the chicken in it and everything? Yeah. Well, good morning all. We actually had a good warm night of sleep where this tent was. The wind did not actually reach it, which is nice. We could hear the wind blowing the trees all around us, but it did not blow on the tent too much, which was very nice. And to our surprise, we woke up and the clouds are gone, at least off of this mountain. And now we finally have that good view I was hoping for this entire time. The sun is poking through. It's definitely an amazing view to wake up to. Alright, we've made it back to the trailhead. It's 
It's been a fun trip. We hiked up yesterday, it was in the clouds, and then this morning we woke up to the surprise of an awesome view. And we were warm the entire time, stayed fairly dry for the night. It was a warm night for us at least, and uh, it was a great trip. So tune in to the next one, everyone. Thanks for watching.